Me name's John, welcome to part two in a series of videos with my friend Bob, all about micrometers. And here we have Bob, see ya, so get yourself in Bob and let's have a, let's have know, a start with it. Are we going to stand together so we look like twins? How are you doing? <laughs> look at these two, eh? Before we we'll start, Bob, that's something to come for you. Is it? You've got some view on me, else. Oh, look at this. It's from a friend of mine. Um, I've had quite a bit of stuff off, large quarter of Rupert Powell. Right, anyway, oh, we'll, right. Uh, thank you very much. We'll get it opened. I'll get you that camera and we'll get it opened up. Right, I ain't bothered me. I ain't bothered me. Right, the second part, as John said, on uh, micrometers, the refurbing of. Um, you'll see the difference what we've done, what I haven't, what I've done, putting them through the ultrasonic tank. Um, so basically, basically, this part is putting them back together and make sure they do what they on the, do on the tin, or it says on the tin, I should say. So we'll get cracking and go from there. Right, as John says, I've getting some view on, viewers mail. Um, thank you very much. And I'm excited to see what it is. Um, I'm getting a, a blade to open it up with. I know you shouldn't use a blade on its own, but needs be, needs must. It's like Christmas all over again. I keep saying Christmas Day, surprise. Oh, it's got them cheesy things in. Deb will have, Debs will have them for when she's packing up next time. Right. There should be enough out there. Right, what's his first thing I've come across? It's a... Uh, oh, it's a dust cover. Oh, I've seen them. There's, um, they've got little compartments and it's a dome. Open this. And you, you put your little components in there and you put the top on. And it keeps them safe and stops the dust getting on. Oh, thank you. Posh. What's on that? Oh. oh, look, 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 oh. I'm all, I'm all excited. I can't, I'm not excited, I can't open the blade and bag. Oh. I know exactly what that's called, it's called pithwood. It's the centre of a, uh, of, it's very soft and you put pivots in that and it helps you clean the pivots in that. Thank you very much. Another puffer, blown the, the dust away. Some more cocktail sticks, but the, the, the proper ones, the peg wood, for cleaning out the pivot holes, rather than using my lolly sticks, but they'll still get used, my lolly sticks. Uh, Rodico, that's what I was on about before, what looks like blow tack. It's a... Uh, um, Blue in colour, um, and it's proper watching clock stuff for years of cleaning pivots and holding things, and save you. Would save me years and blow tack. Shouldn't actually use blow tack because it's a glue. Thank you very much. What's this? Something in that pocket. <laughs> Instead of using my two screwdrivers, I can use these now. The, the, the little levers, I'll move the cardboard box over, just there so it's in sight. And basically you get them and you put them underneath your, your hand on your, on your DDI to lift the hand off. And they're like two like mini crowbars, but they're not, they're meant for lifting hands. Wow, fantastic. I like presents. Anything else in there? P.S. Can you coke too? I can actually. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rupert. Thank you. Brilliant. This is the micrometer I took the bits last week. Um, I took it down home 
chuck it all in, it's not all together like, but chuck it all bit by bit into the ultrasonic tank, cleaned it all, and as you can see, I've repainted what I call the sea, this bit here. It's not, not a, it's not a professional paint as you would call it, it's just a black aerosol. Just if you if you wanted to, it shows you what you can do if you wanted to. Um, if people remember when I, this bit, which is the lock and ring, I won't take it out because that little pin will fall out. It had that little bit of copper insert being made for it. Well, it shouldn't have been. It should have been what's in there already. So I've replaced that, and that goes in. Only goes in one way because it's got a peg. Lines up with the peg, and that's in there. Right? Now, I took the spindle out, cleaned it. The end, all I did with the end is just give it a light rub with the, um, on our call, uh, I want to put it, I've got a hard piece of wood, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's oak or whatever, and I put a bit of metal polish on, and I just rubbed it like that, nice and flat. It, it wasn't scratched, it, it just, just made sure it was nice and clean. The barrel, I'll clean, I put that in the ultrasonic tank and I've cleaned that up and I forgot to bring it with me and I will put it in a video, or John will put it in a video. I have, um, they're called paint sticks. It's not a felty pen, no, it's not a pen what has got ink in it. It's like a wax crayon and basically you rub it all over and you leave it to go dry then you wipe it off and it ha puts the black into the lettering and the numbers. Now it is okay as long as there's something for the, the wax to go into. If the numbers and that's worn off and there's not much there, it'll just wipe off when you come there. Um, wipe it off, I suppose, because there's nothing for that to hold on to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the barrel back on and reassemble it. Then there's the other one I did, the brass one. I've completed that one and you'll be surprised at the transformation now. Um, as before, with the vern yeah, with the vernies, with the uh, DTI's instrument oil. Right, just a bit. I'll rub it in. So we've got a nice cloth at hand and that should be just a nice sliding don't need pliers if you need pliers there's something wrong um, find the key that's these things with the, the peg on the back This one's going to be awkward. Screw it on. Basically, as you're turning, you're pushing it down. It has to be a tight fit, but not too tight of a fit, if you understand, because you still need to turn it. Roughly about there. Make sure that's in line. Then the next thing to go on is the top adjusting collar. Now, as I said before, this is tapered. It's like a cone. It's like that in shape at the top. So you can't put it on that way. It's the wrong way. It's got to go on the right way. So basically what that's for is you use that to tighten Cameras involved, it's not going to go on for us. <laughs> yes. right. The tighter you tighten that up, the tighter it grips onto them threads, so the tighter it makes that to turn. Now, if you have a new micrometer, it's like I have one, John has one, and we keep saying they're too good to use. If you have a one, you can use that one as a comparison to feel how tight it is on the spindle. Now, before it goes in, but then you, you can't, it's not like a DTI, you can't over oil it because the excess oil will just come off, right? 
we'll slide it in. Now the awkwardest bit is lining that up. So screw it I'll screw in and it is a pain and it is a fiddly. And sometimes you get it right first time, sometimes you don't. It's in now, what are you with? Da 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 still in shot. Da -de -de. Now you go to see a surprise in the brass one. I call them clamps because when I was serving me time, the old guy who was my tutor he used to always say when you get it out of the box, check it with the standard. Um, because you don't know, you might have dropped it. Somebody might have borrowed it off you, and they haven't told you, and they've dropped it. Unless you check it with your standard, you don't know if it's right or wrong. And the outer barrel just goes on. Now, you, it doesn't look like it, but this end's got a slight taper on it. And again, I put a little bit of oil on. Right. It's not to lubricate, it's basically just to stop the thing from rusting. Right now, I'll just push that on gently. Right, I want to feel how well or how stiff. So it's a bit too slack, so I need to tighten that. We'll go half a turn, see what that feels like. Ratchet in, I'll tighten it up, I'll just feel it. It's about right there. That good of a fit. Turn it round to about the middle of the diddle. One down, it's a bit more. Got to pull the camera No, 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 it's ain't there. I'll show you. It, it is awkward because it's uh, all I'm trying to do is not get the zero, I want the zero on the barrel. Somewhere Somewhere near the In the middle. I'm not bothered about the zero on the bottom yet. top bit, when you screw that in, that's got a taper on, so the other, the inside one, it shoves it out, so it grabs onto the barrel, yeah, the spanner, oh, I forgot the spanner, oh. point no prize. I have to rotate the inner barrel all the way around. It's all because I'm doing it the camera. All the way around. I'll just check.
That needs to go in a bit more. And that wants to come around a bit more. Soft-headed hammer, John. Little one. I haven't brought the proper pack spanner, but I will do it properly. Take my take you one, two, three, four. Extra number goes to get it. But you've got all the time in the world if you're doing it for yourself. And bear in mind what this looked like before I even started it. I know there'll be people complaining saying I'm not using the right but I'm forgetting it so I'll have to do it for the time being put the peg in the little hole right zero John's one inch That's John's one inch standard. And that's on zero, and it's on zero at the other end. The lock ring works. Lock ring off. Now. Same as you take the eyes. We all have micrometers and we all just hide them in your box. You shouldn't hide any box. You should have its own specific box to live in. Now, you can make a box, or if you're like me, you got you wear glasses, you can get used. I mean, years ago, they used to come in like what it was called, like glasses cases, and you can put it in there. And that's it, that's safe. It's not getting clattered around. Um, but it's as only as good as what the standard is. Now John's had his standards checked, his, his blocks. There's a guy he knows, he, he'd give them in, he's, he's went through them and they're all within grade A calib calibration. And uh, so that's an inch. I'll we'll give that back to John. This is my 25mm one. It's about six months old. 
so I know it's a good standard. Now if you've got one of these and you've had it for 10 years and it's the same standard you had, you've got it since you got it, replace the standards, they're not that expensive and I'll show you why you need to keep an eye on the standards. We'll put that one in my glasses case, but that's that's what it is. You can buy these on the, the pound shop, these glasses cases, and it's kept safe, it's good to keep the muck out of it. Anything that needs to go in, i.e. spanners, standards, it's in. 